good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today, I want to make a little video on an eBay sale gone wrong, as you can tell from the title. Um, so I have the messages from the seller or the um, buyer, excuse me, here pulled up. I am the seller. Um, as I mentioned before, when I got my iPhone 8, I was selling my iPhone 7 Plus on eBay. Um, so it sold one time last week, and the buyer tried to scam me. He didn't pay. Um, he paid, but he paid with a payment with a payment method that didn't clear through PayPal. So it just shows it's pending in my account. Um, and he was trying to get me to ship it before that actually fully um, cleared. And to this day, it still hasn't cleared. I have a case open against him. Um, but he stopped messaging me after I told him I wasn't going to ship it until it cleared. So I figured he, you know, he was out. So I relisted the phone after I opened the case against him. That buyer. Um, I put it up for a day. It won for 613. He won it for 613 and paid pretty much immediately. I printed the label, put it on the box, packed everything up, shipped it within two hours. So it went out the same day. Fulfilled my obligation of same day handling. Um, about two hours later, after it was picked up by USPS, he sent me a message asking me. Um, we had messaged a couple times after this before I had shipped it. I told him, hey, I'm shipping it right now. Hey, I insured it and it's going to require a signature to the value. He responded, you know, thank you very much. Pleasure to do business with you, stuff like that. Um, and then two hours later after it gets picked up, so about this, it's about four or five o'clock um, by this time, p.m. And he goes, by any chance do you know if it's unlocked for international use? It's a Verizon iPhone that was indicated in the title. Um, I'm having second thoughts on this transaction. Please let me know before you ship. Um, he wants to cancel the transaction, he said. Um, at this point it had already shipped, so I let him know um, Verizon does not lock their LTE phones. He should be able to use it with another carrier. Um, as far as international use, though, I'm uncertain on that, and he would have to check with the carrier he's getting the SIM card from on whether that particular device would be compatible with their network. He replies, okay, thanks. I, I didn't reply to that. I didn't need a reply. So a couple minutes later, he goes, would you accept, I told him he couldn't, you know, at that point return it, it had already been shipped, I'm not accepting returns for the item, that was what it said on the listing, no returns. Um, at that point he sent me another message saying, would you accept a return if I refuse the package? Refusing a package, for those of you that don't know, is when the mailman comes up and asks you to sign for it, you refuse it and tell them to send it back to the sender. That's, of course, without opening a return on eBay, it'll just show back up on my doorstep. Um, he goes, I'll be honest with you, I messed up. I didn't know it was the 128 gigabyte version until after I got home. I hope you understand. Please let me know. Thanks. Well, the title of the listing was Apple iPhone 7 Plus 128 gigabyte black Verizon. So he knew both it was a Verizon phone and both it was a 128 gigabyte phone if he paid any attention at all to the title. So not really my fault that he made that mistake and doesn't want the phone anymore. Um, I told him, after contacting eBay, keep in mind, that if he refused the item, he would not get a refund. If he sent it back without opening a return request, and of course if he opens a return request saying he doesn't want it anymore, I'm going to deny it anyway because I already told him no. But if he does not open a return request and sends the item back to me, I will not be refunding him. And eBay told me that that was okay, that if he refused an item and did not open a return request, that he voids all buyer protection, they will not step in, and I'm not obligated to refund him. So the next message, he starts getting pretty mad that he's, you know, figuring out he's not going to be able to send it back. Um, he goes, I understand if you cannot accept my request, it's all my fault. Yes, it is your fault that you didn't read the title before bidding on the item. Um, he said, and then after that I told him I had talked to eBay, they checked the messages on what he had been saying to me, and basically that what I said I was going to do was in the clear. Um, he goes, I already accepted that you would not understand my situation, so don't worry, I won't return it back to the sender unless the description doesn't match the listing. That would, like, that would be like giving my money to you and you keep the cell phone. I'm sure you'll love that. Next one, he, he goes, crook and proud of it. Capital, all caps, uh, crook and proud. Um, so he starts calling me a crook because I told him I'm not going to refund him for an item that I told him he can't return. I don't know how that's being a crook. I gave him fair warning that if he just shit sends it back to me and it shows up on my doorstep, he's not getting his money back. Um, he goes, I already admitted my mistake, but for you wanting to keep my phone, my money and phone, greedy. 
And then he goes, good, I'm sure you treat all your customers like this if they made a mistake. Karma is a bitch. And then he goes, there should always be an exception. You know, when you put no returns in your listing, there should definitely always be an exception. Because then you're just going to have to accept returns, basically, is how that goes. So that's why I put no returns. Um, especially those who is understanding and reasonable, both of which is not you. I'm reading his grammar, by the way. I'm not, that's not me. That's how he typed it. And then I said, what kind of karma are you going to give me? And he goes, when bad shit happens to you, remember that it happened because you're not an understanding and reasonable person. Have a good life. And that was the last message I got from him. So, basically, the item's not going to arrive for a couple more days. So I'm just waiting to see if he's going to play a game with me and try to say it was defective or not as described. Um, because it is in the condition it was in the listing. The pictures are of the phone. I included the cases 